So in this video, we're just going to look at how we change uh, materials within walls. Uh, so in this project, um, I'm going to be drawing um, a two-story wall. Uh, the lower story will be uh, just a standard brickwork, and the upper story might have um, a cladding around the outside, either metal or timber. Um, so to start off with, um, I've already set up my level, so I've already got my level set up where I want them to be, and I've added the level in, so I've got two levels to which to work. Um, so in uh, level zero, I'm just going to open up walls, and I'm just going to pick the standard wall. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just change this so it only goes to level one. So this is going to bring it up to level one, so it's from level zero up to level one. And I like to draw, not in centre line, but um, in the finished face exterior. And I'm just going to go in a clockwise direction to make sure I get the brickwork on the outside. I'm just going to draw a very basic shape to start off, just for the purposes of this. Uh, yeah. And uh, once I've got that wall, if I go into my 3D view up here, we can see I've got this wall here. And if I go into an elevation, we can see I've got a wall coming up to this elevation here. So that's, that's pretty normal, it's pretty standard. So for the upper wall, or the bit on top, uh, I want it to have a, a different um, material on the outside of the wall. So to do that, I'm going to go into uh, level one, because it's where I want to draw the wall. And here I can see the wall below uh, this level, this is on the level zero. And when I go into my wall um, tab at the top there, I'm actually going to duplicate this existing wall that I've already been using. So to do that, just go into Edit Type, and then go into Duplicate, and I'm just going to call this one um, with thing on the outside. You can call it whatever you want to call it, really. Uh, and once we're in here, uh, once I've done that duplicate, and it's really important you do duplicate it, um, in construction under structure, we've got this edit button. So we're going to go into there, and we can see what this wall is made up of. So on the inside, we've got um, plasterboard, uh, which is 12.5 mil. We've then got this structure of concrete, which is our block work, 100 mil. We've then got this um, the core or the cavity at 75 mil, and we've got this brickwork on the outside, 102.5. Mill. So we want to actually add to the outside of that. We want to put an extra layer on the outside of that. So with this one where it's highlighted black, you can see you can use your arrow and you can just select different ones. So with this one selected at the top, just hit the insert button. You can see uh, the brickwork was there and now we've got this new one. Um, we're going to call this one a finish. So we're going to finish there. And I can now select which uh, material I want by clicking on this one here. So just go into there. So with this one here, I can now start looking at, um, let's go cladding see what we come up with. Um, sometimes it'll bring up the, the materials you want, sometimes you'll go looking for it. Sometimes the materials will be down here and not up here, so you just need to double click on these ones here or click on the arrow to bring it up. Um, so we've got some uh, sheeting rails, metal, and we've got some cladding vertical ribs. So I might choose this one here, um, but you can choose anything you like, really. Uh, we need to give it a thickness, so I'm just going to go 30 millimeters on this one. and. Uh, once we've got that done, that's, that's all complete. So we can now click OK, uh, click OK. I can now start drawing my wall over the top of this. Um, so I'm going to start on here. Oops, uh, start in the right place, Jason, will help. So right in the corner, that's it. And all the way out, all the way down. So it actually goes over the top of the existing wall that's below and join it all together. Hit the escape key, key twice to fill it off. And I've now got that on the side. So when I go into my south elevation, we can now see I've got my brickwork down below and I've got this vertical ribbed metal sheet on the top. Again, if we look in our 3D view, we can see we've got this uh, material changed on the top of there like that. And that's how you change uh, the materials uh, for different walls. Um, if you wanted to have uh, walls that were separate, you just need to draw them as separate walls. So if you wanted this to be all brickwork this end, you would just draw this wall going straight up with brickwork and then just draw three sides going around that way. And that's how you change materials in walls.